Today's probably going to be more of just a chill day. I might just go get some dinner and relax. It's already it's past 7 p.m. So we'll see what happens. I'm just happy to be here and relaxing now. So again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for taking tune in my adventures. And I appreciate you watching. Well, sometimes I hate Google Maps. I looked up this place called Taco Mac. And this is where it took me. It said I'm here. And as you can see, I'm like in the middle of nowhere. So... I'm going to keep walking up the road some. I'm hoping I find it. Again, I'm looking for Taco Mac. I'm trying to eat some dinner. Finally found it. It took me forever, but I found it. Yo, yo, what's, what's up? up, Matt? What's up, Swagga? Yo, it's Nick. Oh, yeah, get him in there, too. What's up? Hell, yeah, we're waiting for our homie. What's his name? DJ. DJ, we're waiting for DJ outside. It's me, D Webb, and Nick. Nick, we're just chilling. These are my homies <laughs> I met at the bar. Of course, DJ's not even here. I've been drinking a little bit. I don't normally drink. I met some good friends. They're from Pittsburgh, so I can't beat hey. that. Well, he's not from Pittsburgh. He's from Pennsylvania. Here. Love. Pennsylvania. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just got back. I'm chilling for a minute. I'm about to pass out. I don't even know what I was doing staying up so late. I was out drinking with those guys from Pittsburgh. It was so random to be in Atlanta and meet two people from Pittsburgh. That's what I'm saying. It's all about the law of attraction. If you put yourself out there, you'll end up like. I don't know how to explain it, but it's the law of attraction. You'll have to look it up. Basically, you put yourself out there and things will happen for you. So, I don't know. It's all you got to look into. I'm definitely about to call tonight. I'm, like, ready to pass out as is. It's already, let's see. It's already, f oh, my phone's going crazy. Hold on. Hold on. It's already 4.11. I had quite a few shots, more than I should have had at the bar, but I had a good-ass time. It's currently Thursday, March 31st, 2022, and it's 1.15 p.m. I was texting the one guy that I met yesterday at the bar. His name was Nick. He doesn't live here. He lives up in Pennsylvania, same as me, but he lives up near Erie. I live in Pittsburgh, so it's kind of cool. But long story short is he was hitting me up. He's going to come over and hang out, and then he was asking me. I guess he leaves tomorrow. But for some reason, he had to check out of his hotel today. I don't know. I didn't get all the details. And I don't know exactly why he's not, like, staying with his buddy that lives down here. But long story short was he asked me if he, I cared if he stayed here at night. Now, I'm a little on the fence about it. Current time is now 3.30. I just met up with Jade. She stopped by the apartment. I got her paid, and we hung out for a little bit and just BSed. And now I got a call from Nick. I think he is somewhere local, uh, like, in the area, just waiting for me. I feel bad because I didn't really want to let him in while Jade was here because I just didn't really ask Jade if he could stay or not yet so I didn't know what I wanted to do and I just didn't want to make it awkward and have them both in here together so now all of a sudden I called Nick and he didn't answer so I hope he didn't like just get mad because I was taking forever so I'm gonna try and get a hold of him and see what happens all right Nick I got Yo. something to tell you What's I up? didn't ask Jade but if you want to need a place to stay, I'll let you stay. Hey, but you gotta right. promise you're not gonna destroy it. We no, so we're not messing right. nothing up. No, no, no smoking no inside, no breaking things. Made it to the place, we're just chilling. I'm gonna go to the game in a little bit, and you're gonna watch a little DJ, I think. So a DJ and then we'll all meet up again later. Current time, 6.35 on March 31st, 2022. Right now I'm about to be going to the basketball game. Nick's trying to figure out his game plan. I was trying to talk him into going to the game. I don't think he's going for it. He's not this going for it. I don't know, man. He, we might. Maybe he'll be there with me. But uh, he's just got to find something to do for a little bit. We think are you staying here probably? Yeah. Not sure. He might end up staying here for the night because he's got a flight tomorrow. But I'll keep you guys informed with what's going on. I know I'm going to the game at least. So we'll see what happens. Okay. He made it! So, huh? this video? Yeah, it's Let's video. Go. We won, we both made it.
<laughs> nice. <laughs> the city, they should be able to leave it open at night. I mean, what are people really going to go up there and do? Yeah, to be honest. Just made it back to the Airbnb. I was gonna walk at first. We got about a quarter of the way and Nick was being nice enough. He said, no, we're gonna Uber. So he paid for an Uber. That was very cool of him. But as you guys already know, we went out drinking yesterday. So we're both a little beat on. We'll probably may just chill out. We decided to come up on the roof. There's like that track thing. So we're out here walking around, getting some exercise in. This beautiful view from the Airbnb is about to be taken by the construction. It's gonna be a whole new building. Current time is midnight on April 1st, Friday, 2022. At first we were gonna go out for a little bit since it's Nick's last day in Atlanta. I think he's kind of dozing off back there. So we'll see, I'll keep you up to date. If we go out and do something, we might. But if not, we'll just call it a chill night. Let him get some sleep before his flight on his last night. Definitely had a good time. I'm glad he came to the game. We may not have sat next to each other, but we definitely had a good time. We both got to see the game, and toward the fourth quarter, we did sit next to each other, so that was fun. I set up this little cut thing for Nick, but I don't know for sure if he's even going to get up. I tried tapping him. He wasn't moving, so I'll try one more time. And if not, I don't want to, like, disturb him, so I'm just going to leave him sleep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll leave it be. All right, as I said, I set up the little cot. Tried to, in case he wanted to sleep on that, but he's pretty much, he's pretty hard to sleep, and I can actually hear him snoring. I don't know if you guys can, but, so I'm just gonna leave him be, let him sleep. I'm gonna watch the end of the Lakers game against Utah and just enjoy that, and then call it a night. Well, I'm just starting to get up right now. Nick is still laying down, but he's gotta go get his flight pretty soon, so that's gonna be the next step, just kinda get up, get him moving, and he has to leave, and then I gotta switch Airbnbs today. Currently 7.15 Friday, April 1st, 2022. So happy April Fool's Day, and I think I hear Nick moving. Finally, we're up and moving. He's gathering up all of his stuff, and he's gonna be leaving to the airport pretty soon, unfortunately. Appreciated him. It's, it's been, been real. It's been a pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, he's definitely yeah, a good person. If you're ever up in Erie, branch out to him. He's a good person. Hey, appreciate you guys. I'll let you know what's going on. I'm gonna walk down with him when he's leaving. Oh, no, no, that's the slow one. I'll let you take the lead. Hey, stay safe. It was a pleasure. Take it easy. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for the ticket. Hey, have a good one. Safe flight, man. Yeah. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Unfortunately, Nick's gone, but that's part of traveling. Sorry, the door. Well, unfortunately, Nick's gone, but you know, that's part of traveling and meeting people. It's a vacation. You're not going to be here forever, so... I understand he had to leave. It's kind of cool that we're both from Pennsylvania. What were the odds of that? I'm glad they showed these experiences with you. Um, but what I'm trying to say is this is the whole reason I want to travel and enjoy things and meet people and just have fun with life. For example, if I was just still sitting at home in Pittsburgh, I would have never met him. I would have never known who he was. And now we're like good friends, so to say. I'm not saying we're actually like best friends, but I'm hoping we keep in touch. One thing that was super cool, I don't remember how in depth I told you guys on the camera or not, but he felt bad for like imposing and just staying on me because he kept asking, oh, can I pay you? Can I, whatever. And I, I, I want to just help him out. I didn't want to make him feel like he actually owed me. So I said, dude, you don't owe me any dollar amount. I'm not worried about that I said if you and I don't know he brought it up a couple times after that so I knew he wanted to give me something so I just asked him to get me a ticket to the Nets game against the um I'm sorry the Nets against the Atlanta Hawks so the Brooklyn Nets are coming to play the Atlanta Hawks here in Atlanta tomorrow 
and he ended up getting me one of the standing room only seats, which is cool because it was still like $60, but basically I got a free ticket for the game just for letting him stay here. Now, Jade, if you watch this, please don't kill me. I did not mean to upset you and have somebody stay without you knowing. I just, it was a really random situation, and obviously if you watch the videos, you'll see how it happened. I did not expect him to ask me out of the blue to stay here, and I should have asked you. That is definitely the right thing. I should have asked the host of the Airbnb, her name is Jade, so that's why I'm kind of talking to her if she ever watches this. But I do apologize, Jade. I never want you to feel disrespected. You're a great person, and you're helping me out by letting me stay. So if you do watch this, don't think that we were throwing a party or doing anything dumb. We fully respected your place. We I just did have one person stay over. He was in a tough spot. I don't know his whole situation, why he didn't have his hotel room till the time he was supposed to leave. But long story short, he had a hotel room. And yesterday he had to check out, but his flight wasn't until he had to just head to the airport. I guess he said it's around 10 a.m. It's about 8 a.m. now, so he should have time to get to the airport and catch his flight. He was stuck with nowhere to stay, and he didn't want to or couldn't stay with his buddy that lives here in town. I don't know that whole situation. It wasn't my business to really ask and pry for answers, so I just knew he asked me. I thought about it for a while, and I said yes. I wanted to help him out. I just thought... What if I end up in his situation and what if someone lets me stay? Doing that was not just for this YouTube channel. Like I would have done that for him regardless if I had the channel or not. It's just I want to be a good person. But that's why I enjoy doing these adventures and that's why I wanted to make a YouTube channel for a while because I'm like, this stuff's entertaining. Like it's cool to see this. It's neat to see how I just met somebody just from traveling and that could easily inspire someone else to want to get just get out and travel. And, it all started because I went to one bar that looked dead. I asked the bartender where I could go that would be like a little more exciting to meet people and hang out. And he told me to go to Taco Mac, which was right down the road. And that's where I met Nick and his buddy DJ. 